Hey everyone, welcome back to Getaway Crochet. I'm Lisa and happy Monday. I hope your day is going wonderful or did go wonderful depending on what part of the country you're in. Um, or if some of you are already into Tuesday, happy Tuesday to you guys. So I woke up with a doozy of a migraine this morning with like spots on one, like it was on one side of my head. So I had like spots and black circle. It was just a whole thing. It was awful. But we made it through and I'm feeling so much better. Started going away this afternoon, so that was nice. I think it helped that I doubled up on my meds <laughs> early. Um, so, nip that in the bud. Had to take my car in because it broke again. I just, it's just this thing. Okay, so my car is in the shop until at least tomorrow. Um, it's been, I've been unable to use my car for a week at least. Um, so there's that. That's been fun. Um, I feel like I'm a caged animal, <laughs> unable to go anywhere. Um, it's so, it's so hard when you want to go someplace, but you have to rely on other people to drive. Um, I know how my mom feels now because she hasn't driven in years and she, re she relies on my dad to drive. So I, I understand your pain, mom. <laughs> um, cause I know she watches this, this channel, so. Hi, Mom. Um, anyway, I wanted to share some stuff with you. I'm feeling a lot better, so I kind of wanted to come on tonight and just kind of, here's what's going on in the world of Getaway Crochet right now. As you all know, I have many projects going on, and they've even doubled. <laughs> the projects are continuing to happen right now. Like, each day I'm doing more and more because I can't wait to finish one to start another. Let me know if you guys have that issue, because I can't, like, if I get something in my brain, I have to start it, because I'm afraid I'm going to lose it otherwise, even if I write it down. The idea of the colors and everything that is there, if I don't start it, it's going to go away. <laughs> That's how I feel in my brain. Um, so there's been a lot of that happening. So last week, I know we talked that I was, I had... Squares from my project bag. I am almost finished with the squares for that. Um, I got three and a half done. I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make a five, a five square bag. So we'll do that. Um, it's not gonna be like a duffel bag size, I don't think, because for one, I don't have room to put it anywhere up here, and number two, um, I can always make more. <laughs> so there's that. So we have not gotten any farther on the bag. Why? Because I have been working on, like I mentioned last week, blankets for our local animal shelter, which I can only work on so long because I have to use the thick yarn and a big hook. And I crochet quickly and it, it, my hand hurts after a while, so I have to put it away. Um, if I'm using a smaller hook, my hand... Oh, excuse me, I just ate dinner and I had pop for dinner as well and it's just carbonation, not good. Um, so, where was I? Oh yeah, the dog blankets. So I can only work on those for a small period of time because I don't want to ruin my hands. Um, so I'm working on those little by little. I have not gotten any farther. Why? Because I started another project. <laughs> but this one I finished. So last Wednesday afternoon, um, I started a blanket with Karen Cake Cotton Cakes yarn. Now, if you don't know what Karen Cotton Cakes look like, Karen Cotton Cakes, <laughs> sorry. Let me get some water here. Hold on. Okay. Karen Cotton Cakes. And that's sparkling water, which probably isn't going to help my esophagus issues so you know there's that okay okay so cot karen cotton cakes look like this if you do not know what they look like it is literally just like a rainbow cake of some sort of color this one is called sunset dreams let's see if that'll focus for me here there we go and there is um, 530 yards in each cake. And it is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. So it's really soft. 
and yet it's kind of like stretchy at the same time. So anyway, I used and I calico something or other. I can't remember the color because I got rid of the, I used what I had in my stash and a friend of mine gave me, oh gosh, I don't know how many skeins of this stuff. This one I did go out and buy. However, we're not talking about, oh, there goes my camera again. Okay. All right. Hopefully it'll just hold now. Um, stories of my life, right? <laughs> camera malfunction. Oh, there we go again. Okay. So is it just not going to work now? Okay. Well, we're going to hope it works. Stay. Stay, 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 stay. Okay. Fingers crossed it stays. Um, okay. So, um, I wanted to use up, well, for one, I am running out of so much space right now. Let me just show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. This is going to be just, I'm, I'm putting myself out there right now. So please be gentle. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit of a hoarder, a yarn hoarder, not a regular hoarder. Um, but because I have no room to store projects right now, it is literally is piling up around my yarn stash. So let me just bring my camera over here and show you what I'm talking about. So close your eyes so you don't get motion sick for just a second. All right, my lovely living room. Okay, guys, this is what I'm talking about right here. This, I have my squares from projects that I am currently in progress and working on. This bin right here is my, my dog blanket, my squares that I finished. I have a bag with that second bag over there is pillows and yarn. Then I have my bin of scrap yarn. Then I have more yarn and my pile of yarn I'm going to use for um, the dog blankets. And then there's my couch. So that that is what I'm referring to. And things are stacking up. Things are stacking up everywhere. Like for instance, oh here, close your eyes one more time. Okay, below me right now is a bin where I was putting my works in progress, as you can see. However, my works in progress have become so tall that every day they kind of fall over which I don't want to happen because I have a heater back there and I don't want to have any issues with fire or anything like that. So we have now, here's what my desk currently looks like. So there's that. All right, let's see if we can make this stay this time. Okay. Okay, so that, that is the disaster I'm referring to, so now you guys know. Um, anyway, back to my story. So I have, because I have, so I'm limited with room right now, I'm trying to use up yarn in my stash, which once I get it organized to an extent, guys, I will show you my yarn cubicle. Um, so behind the pile is a whole thing of um, cubicle squares that hold my yarn. Um, and I'm trying to use up yarn so I can fit finished projects in the cubicles to get them out of the way. Or if I have a stack of squares I need to make into a blanket, that's going to go in there as well. Um, so right now my idea was I have all this Karen cotton cakes. And um, I was watching a YouTuber. Um, I believe it was Llama Mama Kayla. And I was watching her watching a, um, an old recording that she did and in it um, I saw her working on I think it was a, a t-shirt she was making a t-shirt with the same color yarn that I have in my stash and I was like hey I forgot I had that color I have two of them and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them why don't I make something that I can finish quickly so Wednesday afternoon I started a granny square baby blanket and then Friday afternoon, Friday evening or Friday night, I finished it. And I will show you what it looks like. Max, you gotta move, honey. Move. Move, 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 move. Thank you. Okay. Here it is, guys. Mm. 
my baby blanket. Um, now I crochet very quickly, so I was able to work on this in the afternoons, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then Friday night as well. Um, so I was able to get this finished. It is 34 rows total, and it is 34 and a half by 34 and a half size. And then I just used a half double crochet border really quickly. So now when I made this, I want to tell you a little bit how I made this because you know, the, the, the granny square vortex of doom. So if we keep going in the same, same direction, um, our yarn's going to kind of twist, right? So in order to prevent that, because I wasn't switching colors, I wasn't switching rows, I wasn't doing anything like that. Um, I took with this one, I did every other row. So I did every row, I changed directions. So I worked on the right side on one row, then I would chain three, turn the work and work on the wrong side. So it was going every other direction. So what we weren't creating the vortex. Um, so that worked perfectly. It looks nice and square and even. Although with this stuff, I don't think you'd have to worry too much because it's kind of stretchy and it has some, it's soft and it has give on like, like acrylic yarn. I mean, acrylic yarn is just different. This is kind of almost spandexy, but um, so I made that and now then I thought, okay, so I liked this so much. I liked working on this so much in the afternoons that I thought I have, I went through all of my cotton cakes yarn and I realized that I had two of every skein except for two, which means it took two to make this blanket. So two skeins to make this blanket. And I decided that I was going to use all of my co my Karen cotton cakes and make baby blankets. So immediately after, well, Saturday, actually, it was not immediately after Friday night, I decided to do other things too, like play a game and whatnot. But um, so I finished this one. And now I just got to find I got to put that in the blanket tote until I sell it or give it to somebody. So I finished that one and then Saturday afternoon, after I got done running errands, we ran to the grocery store and things like that. Um, so around one o'clock in the afternoon, <clears throat> I got done running errands and I thought, let's start another one. And, um, two colors, it's called peach, uh, not two colors. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Two skeins. It's called P uh, frozen yogurt color. Um, I started this one here. I mean, this is obviously perfect for a baby blanket. You see these colors all the time on Pinterest together for a baby blanket, especially for girls. Um, and I just thought this would be perfect. So I wanted to get this one going because I thought it would just look so good and would inspire me to get, get it finished. So then, so I've, I've been working on that since Saturday and it's Monday. Um, so I was able to get a little bit done this afternoon. I'll probably work on it a little bit tonight, but I have other projects that I want to do tonight too. Um, so I was able to work on this Sunday, Saturday evening, things like that. So I'm not like, it doesn't need to be done, but I want to want to get it done fairly quickly for one. So I can see completion on something instead of having a million works in progress that never get finished, which I am notorious for. So it was nice to be able to finish a project within a couple days. So one, I want to get it finished. Number two, it's freeing up space on my yarn wall. And number three, it is using up yarn that I've had in my stash, which I have no idea what I wanted to do with it. And now I finally do. So there's that. So I did go out and buy these two on Friday. Um, cause I th thought that would be perfect for, um, a, a girl blanket. And I think I had, if I remember correctly, I had part of another skein. So I thought if I could make it a little bigger, that'd work too. So that way I use up that skein too and don't just leave it sitting in there. So then on, um, is it Sunday yesterday? Saturday, Saturday. I really wanted to go to Joanne's because for some reason I really wanted to buy some really bright and vibrant colored. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos with people using Premier yarns, like the uh, Vivid 
um, Premier Yarns Vivid Colorways. Um, and one of them reminded me of a yarn that I know they have at Joann's. And I really wanted to do a ripple afghan with it. And so I asked my husband, I said, can I borrow your car? Because I don't have one. He goes, well, I'll take you. And I'm like, okay. And he went to Joann's with me. And we got a few skeins of this color yarn, which I will show you right now. All right, guys, here it is. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, it reminded me of this color that I saw the last time in there. I was there. It is Red Heart Jumbo Stripe Super Saber, and it is called Favorite Stripe, as you can see. And there are... It's 100% acrylic size 4. 482 uh, yards in here so a little bit less than a cake um, but that's okay I bought three of them they were on sale I don't remember exactly what they were on sale for to be quite honest but they were on sale I think like it was like three something what are these normally I think they're like 4.99 now they were on sale anyway um, so I bought three of them and um, I started a blanket. I was gonna wait to start it until I finished this other one, but I couldn't wait I just wanted to see how it was gonna look so I started it because if it didn't work out I was just gonna have to figure out something else to do with it um, A different kind of blanket. I was gonna make a blanket regardless, but I wanted to know what kind of blanket I wanted to do So I started with the chevron and once I got going on the chevron I was like, oh, I really like this. So that's also a work in progress. So I, I will show you that Alright, I haven't gotten too far because I've been off and on with this other project too and work and stuff like that. So, here is, oh my god. Alright guys, isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I am so impressed with how this is looking so far. I can't get the whole thing in. This is folded in half, guys. The size is going to be 40 by 60, so it's going to be a big blanket. It's going to be like what you would buy at Walmart, the 40 by 60 blankets size wise anyway but i just love these colors how they are coming together now for some for if you if you're new to the channel which thank you so much for watching this video um i do like bright colors however primary colors like the red yellow blue like i feel, I feel like those are primary colors in my brain like the like the not not the you know the tropical colors so primary colors like red blue orange like that make me think of like ki like um elementary school and crayons and things like that i generally don't gravitate towards those things i generally gravitate towards purples blues the warm tropical colors the pinks the the stuff like that those are the colors i generally gravitate so this was a little bit of a this was a little bit of a, um, can't think of the word right now. Holy crap. Apparently, um, my migraine killed off a few brain cells this morning. Okay, so anyway, um, I don't gravitate towards these colors on a regular basis, but I took a chance and thought I just, I just have to because it, the vivid, the Premier Yarn from Vivid reminded me so much of this yarn, and I don't have money to order. I mean, it's cheaper for me to buy this in the store as it, in, rather than buying um, stuff online and then paying shipping to ship it out here. Um, so I decided I was going to take a chance and try these colors, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I love how it turned out. Um, I believe, honestly, these colors were inspired... Um, well, for one, I was watching a video, <laughs> and, um, she was, she was talking about, I think, did I, honestly, another Llama Mama Kayla video, honestly, she's, she's an inspiration for me to work with specific colors. Um, I'll link her, um, her channel in the description below. 
if you uh if you don't get if you get a chance to watch her you should she is really she's a positive upbuilding person and great inspiration i love her videos um so and i like i like watching other youtubers i like supporting their channels as well um because we're all kind of we're all in this yarn community together so um i'm not you know it's not a competition for me to get you know more views than so and so and so there's that so anyway, inspired also by Llama Mama Kayla were these colors because she was working in one of the videos I saw her in. She was working with the Vivid, um, the the Premier Vivid yarn. And I was just like, I have to get something similar to that and try it. So that's what I did. So thank you, Llama Mama Kayla, for the inspiration to do the Karen Cakes baby blanket and this, um, this chevron blanket inspired by well the colors made me think chevron but once i started working with it but um but thank you for inspiring me to get the colors to make this blanket um i do plan on <laughs> buying stuff from premiere because i like their yarns look very very unique and i'm tr trying to branch out and try different things rather than just sticking with my regular old stuff but as of right now we're not doing that until I can afford to pay shipping on stuff and make a big order. So, um, that, that will be happening in the future, but as of right now, it's not. So, all right. So that was my shout out for the, the day here. Um, what else was I going to show you guys? Oh, so then while I'm work uh, while I was working on this this evening, this, this, this baby blanket here, I had it draped across my lap and it's fairly, it's a, it's over halfway done or it's about halfway done I guess I should say so I had it draped across my lap like this and I have noticed this winter well this fall winter since it, the snow just melted that we had but it is still it's like 25 degrees and for some reason this year and I normally don't get cold until it gets like below zero but I have been so cold this year already and it's only November 6th and like I have to put slipper socks on, like I have to wear a long sleeve shirt in the house, I have to wear sweaters. Um, last night my husband's walking around in t-shirt and shorts and I'm sitting up here on the couch with a heavy blanket on, working on a crochet project with a sweater on and I was just freezing. I couldn't believe it. So and it, it's like a damp cold, like a wet cold. And I'm not, it's, we don't get those kinds of things up here. We get the dry, freezing cold up in North Dakota. Um, we don't get like the wet cold, but this, this fall, it's been wet and it's been cold and I just can't get warm. So while I'm sitting here working on this blanket, it's draped across my lap and my chest. And I thought to myself, you know what I need? I need a blade, like a lapgan to use while I'm sitting in this chair this year, I think. Because I don't know if it's just going to be like this for the rest of the year or what. So I, th I try to think of some vibrant colors that I had in my stash. Because I'm not going to go buy a new yarn. Um, so I have it in my stash that I would want to make. And I'm just going to do a simple granny square blanket. I'm not going to I'm not gonna get all... You'll be proud of me though. This wasn't granny square. I'm not all about granny squares only. That's just primarily what I've been doing because it's quick, it's fast, and I like them. Um, but I wanted to do a different stitch because these colors just screamed ripple. So there's that. Um, but anyway, so I, I went and looked at my stash and now I love color as you all know. Um, and I have, and I was like, okay, so I know I'm going to need at least, let's see, these are 530, what did I say they were? 500 and 530 yards. And it takes two of them to make a baby blanket. So I would need at least a thousand, eleven hundred yards to make make a good lapgan for myself. Because um, the one these ones are just a little bit shorter than my legs, so they don't come to my, they don't go over my feet. So I do want to make it a little bit bigger. So um, I'm planning on using probably. Well, depending on how big the skeins are, but I just found the color I wanted to work on. I have five of these skeins. These 
are I love this yarn this is a rainbow color I bought these and I don't I think I was originally gonna make scarves with them but um, that passed and I decided I wanted to do something else and then I never did um, the color is brights and there are let's see here 196 yards so just a little bit under two so I'll need at least five of them and I do have five in my stash and I mean if I have to go get one more I will but I don't think I will so I have five so I'm gonna use what I have in my stash I can use these up then make more room for me to get some of that yarn off the floor hopefully or to make room to put some of these projects that I have finished or that need to be put together they can go up in my cubicle um, so that looks less insane so um, that's I'm I just started this like right before while I was t um, <laughs> while I was literally just sat down to work on a start a blanket for myself while working on this baby blanket while working on this <laughs> ripple blanket of mine all at the same time and the dog blanket and it's just insane and my aunt's blanket I still got that going I got my project bag going so I can't I'm just jumping from one project to another right now I know I will get these finished though I mean like obviously I want to get them finished it's freeing up yarn it's very it's very it, it's like a good feeling a completion feeling so um, so I'm starting this now. I'm gonna see how far I get tonight. I'll probably go back to the ripple blanket for a while because you know you get kind of tired of doing the same thing over and over but um, probably go back to the other one a little bit tonight and work on that one. Um, or maybe I'll work on my aunt's blanket. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know I want to start this at least um, because I know I'm gonna need this before I need <laughs> anything else because I'm cold all the time. And I'm never cold. I'm always warm. Always. And I've just been freezing for like two weeks now. It's just awful. Like even at night, I have like the covers pulled over my head and I'm like just, I'm laying like this because I'm just so cold and I can't get warm. It was like, oh excuse me. It was like when we visited Washington State in April or March and April, um, like 10 years ago. It was like a wet cold and you just couldn't get warm. It was winter out there for them and it was like, it was like 30 some degree. It was like 30 or 40 degrees and they were walking around in like their like parkas and everything and Morgan and my husband and I were walking around in our sweatshirts and they're like, aren't you freezing? And we're like, no. And it was at night that it got damp cold. It was, it was like that at night. It wasn't like that during the day. We were fine during the day. It was just that, I mean, I was fine during the day. My husband's used to it. He, he grew up out there. I did not. So I grew up, you know, in 20 below weather. <laughs> but that was too much for me. Um, yeah, so at night I just got cold and I couldn't warm up out there. But that's what it's been like, like all day, all night out here for the last two weeks. So I decided I was going to make myself a lap game. And I wanted to share that with you guys today. So I'm going to let you guys go. Because I got, obviously, lots of things to work on tonight. Um, hopefully, be doing another video this week. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. We'll see how the week goes. Everything. Um, I'll uh, let you know how my projects are coming along. Hopefully, by the next time I talk to you guys, this blanket will be finished. And maybe this blanket will be finished. Maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And this blanket's going to be a work in progress for a while. So... But anyway, thank you for checking out the channel, guys, if you are new here. And if for those of you that are returning, thanks again for stopping back. Um, if you want to, if you like this video and want to see more videos about crochet, crochet content, tutorials, um, subscribe to my channel, just the button below. Um, like this video if you like it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.